What is going on YouTube? So today we'll be talking about the extreme program and how anyone, no matter the skill level, can complete the extreme program, including you who think you cannot do it. And in today's video, we're going to show you guys how anyone could complete the extreme program, how I completed the extreme program and how you could complete this extreme program the fastest. We're going to go through every single tip, trick and method in the books. So even the worst player in the game or someone who doesn't even play MLB The Show can hop on MLB The Show and get Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's talk about it. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is how I got Ronald Acuna Jr. And the first thing that we did was the Extreme Conquest map. Now I made a YouTube video on this, so go follow that step-by-step step from start to finish. Make sure you guys watch the entire thing, pause it when you guys are playing games and reference it all the way through so you guys don't miss it. It can get a little tricky, so you gotta make sure that you follow that video from start to finish so you guys don't make any mistakes and you guys can also complete the extreme program. Now, the next thing that we did was the extreme showdown. Now, most of these are on Hall of Fame or Legend Difficulty is the last one. I think there's a few also on all-star and the biggest tips I can give you for this is for perks. You want rally time or you want hero time, gold and diamond. Those are going to be the perks that you want at the end. I prefer a hero time gold, a hero time diamond and a rally time diamond for my third or all three of my perks. And when you are playing this, you want to be very, very patient at the plate. Don't swing it at a, at a balls. Don't swing it just like any strike. Make sure it's the pitch that you are most confident at hitting and just try to be patient. Try to make the pitchers tired and give yourself the advantage in the count as much as you possibly can. If you can do that, you can complete the extreme showdown. And then finally, we did some PXP missions and this is gonna tie into how any player, even the worst player can complete the extreme program. But this is still something that I also did. 25,000 PXP with any players in Diamond Dynasty gets you five stars. And the key to this for any player that can complete it is it is repeatable. But we'll go and talk about how any player can complete the extreme program a little bit later in this video. Or you can check the timestamps down below if you are a brand new player or you know you can't do the other stuff. Check the timestamps down below and just skip to your part of the video that you want to watch. The next thing that we did was a general mission, some other missions that I think any player can do. 100 home runs, 150 extra base hits, 200 hit or 200 hits, 100 strikeouts with starting pitchers, and 50 innings pitched with relief pitchers or closing pitchers in any mode in the game on any difficulty. That is the key point. Any difficulty in any mode in the game, and you can earn yourself another, what, four, eight, 12, 16, 20 stars in the program just from completing these general missions. The next thing that you can do is some extreme player program missions. I didn't do these because as you unlock players, they have their own missions that you guys can accomplish to get some extra stars in the program. I didn't do any of those myself. But I did do the event missions, at least some of them. We got home runs with low power hitters. That's going to give us four program stars. We also got strikeouts with low K per nine pitchers. That gave us four stars. And we got RBIs with low clutch players. That also gave us four stars. So that's how we completed the extreme program so far. And we didn't do every moment, but these are the moments that we did. We did the Mickey Mantle four hits, including one triple moment. We did the steal five bases with Ricky Henderson's moment. And we also did Jorge Polanco's three extra base hits, including one home run that you saw in the beginning of the video. We also got the two home runs with Paul Goldsmith. And that is it. That gave us the 100 stars in the program. And the program is complete. And we got ourselves Ronald Acuna Jr. Now let's talk about the fastest way to get the extreme program done. We talked about the easiest way, well, per se, right? The easiest, most, most efficient, like kind of fast way to do it, which is my way, I think, in my opinion, was the most efficient way and still pretty easy. 
Now we're going to be talking about the fastest way to complete the extreme program, and that's going to be through many seasons. And the reason I say it is the fastest is because of the goals that they have, but it is not the easiest. Why is it not the easiest way? Well, I want to explain something to you guys. So in Conquest, you are facing live series teams, right? You're taking your 99 overall God Squad into Conquest, facing live series, commons, bronze, and silver pitchers for the most part, especially with the tips that I have for Conquest. You're going to be facing common, bronze, and silver pitchers 90% of the time in Conquest besides those super duped up teams that have really good pitchers throughout their entire lineup. However, with many seasons, you are facing other God squads. So all these teams in here have 99 overall teams with 99 overall pitchers, and that's what makes it hard. What makes it the fastest are these goals. So if you win five mini season games on Legend, you get three packs con containing one voucher. So that's three vouchers. Each voucher is worth four stars in the program. So that's a total of 12 program stars for winning five games on legend difficulty and the key to this is re it's repeatable so let's say after four after four times doing this so 20 games after 20 games you would have 48 stars in the extreme program and to compare this in conquest you had to play 30 games just to get 35 stars so if you were to play 30 games in many seasons that would give you 12 times 6, right? So, because 6 times 5 is 30. So, 12 times 6, that would give you 72 stars. So, you get double the, the amount of stars, but you have to win 30 games on Legend difficulty in order to do so. So, it is faster because you're still playing the same amount of games, but you have to play them on Legend, and you have to face 99 overall players all the time. So it is going to be a lot harder, especially for more casual players. And that's why I don't typically recommend it. But if you're a good player, I think it is the fastest route to go. But on this channel, we talk about routes that everyone can do. And that's why we're going to be talking about the way that any player, even the worst player in the game, or even a player who doesn't even play MLB The Show, can complete the extreme program. And what are we going to do to do that? Well, we're going to go talk about it once again. We kind of went over it a little bit and in the Extreme Program when we went over it. And that's going to be the PXP mission. So if you guys see the PXP with any players, if you get 25,000 PXP, you get five stars. Well, how do you get PXP? Plate appearances. You don't even need to get a hit. You can strike out every single time. And if you do this in the event because it's online, you get more PXP online than you do offline. So honestly, it would benefit you to just play online and get more PXP and you can strike out every single time. Yes, it's gonna take you a lot longer to get to 25,000 parallel XP, but you can get there, right? And if you get a hit, that helps you out. And once you guys do that, once you unlock some of these players up here, they have PXP missions as well. So if you get Finest Polanco or Finest Paul Goldsmith, and you get 2,000 PXP with that player, you get another five stars. It is also repeatable. So all these are repeatable as you just play the game. All you have to do is play the game. You can get out every single time. You're still going to get PXP as long as you're playing the game, right? Same with the extreme pitchers. Unlock the pitchers. Same deal, except it's 5,000 PXP to get five stars. But that's not the only missions you can do. There are other missions. Those are the only repeatable missions. So eventually you will get Ronald Acuna Jr. And you don't even have to get a hit. You don't even have to get a strikeout with your pitcher. And you will get Ronald Acuna Jr. at some point, at some time, eventually in this game, no matter how bad you are. But the other one is the general missions. Because it's any player's in any mode on any difficulty right so now you can play on rookie you don't have to play on hall of fame or legend you can play on the lowest difficulty and go for 100 home runs go for the 150 extra base hits the 200 hits the 100 strikeouts and the one that anyone could get 
50 innings pitched. If, if you pitch 50 innings against a CPU with a relief pitcher or a closing pitcher, you get four program stars. However, these missions aren't completable or uh, repeatable. If you, if you complete all five, that's 20 program stars just like that. Very easy to do. Uh, but if you struggle with hitting and you can't do those, well, you like I said, you got the PXP with any players. Just going to take you a long time to get there. But that's how you guys, anyone can complete the extreme program. So I don't want to see any excuses down in the comment section down below. This is too hard. I can't do it. Yes, you can, because I just showed you how you can do it. It's just going to take you a little bit more time to get there. So if this does help you out, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live. Because on this channel, we help everyone of all skill levels. No one's excluded. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.